Hello St. Stephen parishioners and friends. We're here to do another cooking class. Uh, this time, as, de as your demand, we're going to do bread. And we're going to do rustic types of bread. We're going to do a focaccia and then we're also going to do a rustic bread that is just yeast but it could be sourdough and then we'll also be doing sourdough and there if you like good crusty bread this is the class that you will want to watch and of course my companions for this class will be father pat and deacon fred so we hope you join us at 6 30 on friday the 24th now some of the things that you'll need for class is just flour, salt, and water, yeast, or sourdough. Now, I have been saving leftover sourdough for probably two months waiting for this class. So those of you who want a good Alaskan sourdough starter, if you'll just text me, call me, email me, and let me know that you want this starter. We'll make arrangements for you to get it picked up and I'll get you on your way with the starter. Uh, there's nothing like sourdough bread uh, baking and eating. It's, it's wonderful. So you, what you'll also need is I recommend you get a scale. It's not absolutely mandatory, but it's much more accurate to weigh your flour and weigh your water. Uh, to make a good bread. Also, you'll need a container to mix it in. I like to do it in this tub, this plastic tub with the lid, because then I can stick this in the refrigerator. Because if I mix up the bread and decide I don't have time to bake it, I can stick it in the refrigerator and then it's all set for the next day. And it can sit in the refrigerator for up to a week. Some recipes, two weeks, can sit in this container. Or just you could do just a regular mixing bowl. You want plastic. These are giant plastic bags that I can actually put this bucket in. Uh, I have several of these buckets that don't have the lids because actually the bucket costs less than the lid. And then for the focaccia bread, you want to have a good pan and a 9 by 13 pan. You can use glass, but if you're going to use glass, you need to be sure you always butter first and then put your olive oil on and that way your bread won't stick. Uh, you need a good pair of silicone gloves and trust me, I burned my finger this morning. I have a blister on it because I had one glove on and grabbed a towel and tried to take the lid off this cast iron pot. So you want a cast iron pot. Cast iron pots give you the best crust. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take a cast iron pot, rather it's, if it's an enamel pot or a regular cast iron, the whole thing in the oven for 45 minutes and let it heat up. And then very carefully you take it out of the oven, put your mitts on, and then you put your bread in and bake it. So it's almost like it's in a wood fire oven and it makes a wonderful, beautiful bread. There's other kind of tools that you will need. You need a spoon. I happen to like this type of mixer and I've had it for a while. It looks pretty grody, but I love it. And then a plastic scraper is great if, so that you don't have to get your hands in the mess. This is called a banneton. It's something to raise your bread in if you want, but you don't have to have all these fancy tools. All you need, flour, salt, water, yeast, or sourdough. That's all you need. So we look forward to seeing you. We've got some good bread to try and I'll have recipes for all these breads. And so hope you'll join us next Friday, July 24th at 6.30 in the evening. Looking forward to seeing you.